Yo, what's good? It's your boy again, Travis Cherry, life of a producer. Just giving y'all a quick little, quick little view in my life, letting you know what it's like. Um, some of my production techniques, or you know, just me in the studio, how I, how I get down. Um, you know, if you know, if you've seen some of the other videos, <clears throat> I definitely just give you some of the behind the scenes on some of the records uh, that I have out. So the record I'm gonna tell you about uh, today uh, wasn't officially officially released, but uh, there's a it's, it's out it's out. Um, it's a record called Illustrious by Rick Ross. Um, I know if you see it on YouTube, you'll see that there's a uh, he has a video for it that they did, uh, and he actually he he has a um, he put triple C's on it after we had uh, after we recorded it. Um, that record came together during the uh, sessions for Jay Holiday's second album uh, while we were working uh, when uh, we did a Wrong Lover, uh, one of the Platinum Brothers' friends, um, cat named Eugene. He was uh, back and forth with uh, Rick Ross and his people, and uh, he was asking for some beats for Ross. <clears throat> so uh, it ended up you know, being a, a CD of stuff that went to Ross for Ross to write to. And uh, one of the beats that, uh, actually I guess the only one that he really wrote to as far as the rap joints was a record that I had did. Um, I'll let you hear a little bit of the beat. I kept it simple. You know me, you know, I'm from North Carolina, straight out of Raleigh, Wake County, Worthdale all day, 925 Weston Street. Longview too, you know I represent Longview too. Um, Y'all know us from the Carolinas, we we chop samples. Shout out to Knife Wonder, you know. Shout out to my man Black Jeruz. Shout out to my homie Marshall, Marshall Law the Beast and Post. Um, you know, and actually shout out to my man uh, Sound Slayer because Sound Slayer really he made me make the transition from. I guess looping into chopping because my man Sound Slayer is one. Of, he's he's definitely an ill chopper. He doesn't get his props, but uh, as far as the beat, you know, I uh, I just sat at home and I was chopping up the sample, and I know that Ninth Wonder I think had used it on uh, Little Brother's first single, but I, when I when I heard the sample, I was like, oh, it's got some other elements in it. That I think he just didn't even he didn't really pull out of there, or maybe you know just what he felt on it. So it came together like this. That's, that's what went to Ross was that um and what ended up happening was he got Sean Garrett on a hook for the record um and they sent the record back you know and it, and you know for anybody that knows me you know I ain't I ain't no BS with this one um you know I know some cats be stunting on you but just to let you uh, hear a little bit so you know this definitely definitely real thing here Ross sent back the vocals here let me talk to you baby you looking so luscious are you wet yet <laughs> yeah so you see life like poker come and deal with a king I got a sipping out ace time to spread with my queen got a nice gig she in at the nice things pussy so warm still feel like she's 16 pussy so warm so he sent back the vocals and that's what came back and of course, you know, you, you, you heard the illustrious record came together like this. Let me talk to you, baby. You looking so luscious, are you wet yet? <laughs> yeah. Life like poker, come and deal with a king. Uh, of course, you heard that and you've heard the hook. High as I wanna be a mile away from heaven. Right. You understand me, my heart, you might get it, you understand me Girl, I'm the top of the mountain, you understand me But when you come around the end and I breathe like love I wanna fuck and I touch you You make me wanna be more of a sister 
So, you know, fun record. It's crazy, crazy bananas record. Um, like I said, uh, just one of those things just came together really, really hot. Um, hopefully in the future you guys will see me get back in with him and create another hot record. Uh, Ross is definitely a dope artist. Um, so let's see, let, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, definitely a fun experience. And uh, he's also on uh, another record that we worked on on Jay Halliday's second album, Wrong Lover. And he killed it. Um, definitely look out for that. Uh, and that's all I really have to say about that record. Once again, it's just a, it was a simple record. You know, you're just more hearing my chop skills more than anything else on that record. And uh, Ross, being the artist that he is, he just he he smashed it. So that's another one of those behind the beats moments from your boy Travis Cherry. Don't be afraid to live out your dreams, and I'm gone. <laughs>